Rylan was living a normal life as a university freshman until finding himself in a cold basement tapped to a chair. His kidnapper soon reveals himself to be John Black, a rich douchebag who fancies Rylan, but may be a bit misguided when it comes to the whole romance thing. On top of that, Rylan has no interest in John whatsoever. Luckily, help is near, but will he be able to escape? Find out in this comedy horror RPG maker adventure game. Hey everybody, this is Robin here, and welcome back to another video. And today we are gonna be playing another horror game called Miss Fiction. I have taken a bit of a break recording, but we're back and we're ready to kick ass. So this game is from what I can tell probably a about kidnapping from what it says. So we got the two main protagonists, um, Rylan and John. Um and that seems to be the main present the whole game. Anyways. Let's get started. Content warning, this game is a themes of stalking and kidnapping. Rated 14 plus, continue at your own risk. What the fuck? Huh? What the? I awake to a cold and unfamiliar room, taped to a chair. Someone must have kidnapped me in my sleep. While I'm at complete shock of who would do this to a student with no existing money to extort, I suddenly hear the sound of a doorknob turning. Ah, seems like I came back to check on you during the right time. How are you feeling? I hope my men were not too rough with you. What? John? What the? Are you the one who kidnapped me? Why? Of course not. I had my men kidnap you. I didn't lift a finger. Oh, I see. Well, that as if. This doesn't make it any better. What the hell are you have me kidnapped for? Is this your sick idea of a prank? Because let me tell you, it sucks. After you turned down my proposal, you left me with no choice. Of course, this wasn't my first thought, but after I did some research, I came to the conclusion that this would be the best approach. What kind of research told you to kidnap me? Falling in love, in love with another male is a first for me, so I did some romantic reading into the subject. I consumed a plethora of different stories, many of which had the submissive man be reluctant at first, However, in the end, he would always fall in love after the other man was resilient. In many cases, with force. Hey, what are you working for? Hey, old lady! I am a little afraid to ask, but where exactly did you find this research material? Beal! Are you stupid? I have an above average IQ. This is real life, not a manga. It may just be fiction. However, does fiction not inspire life more often than we'd like to admit? I am confident you will fall in love with me. I'm looking forward to it. No, 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 you listen here. I would rather choke my own piss than date a concited piece of shit like you. If you really think that these feelings will change by holding me captive, then... Then... I don't know! There's something wrong with you! Good night, my love. Wait! Set me free, goddammit! Hold up, question up! Like, what happened here? Is there a backstory? Is there a backstory of sorts, or no? I close my eyes and try to re recollect my thoughts. 
Why is this happening to me? What did I ever do to deserve this? Not once have I led this guy on, so why? Just how have things turned out this way? We first met two months ago. It was the first day of university, and I had just arrived before my very first lecture. I scanned the room quickly before spotting a familiar face in the crowd. Aha! There you are! Morning, Eugene! Good morning, Rylan! Are you sure you want to sit next to me, though? Who else would I sit next to? A potential future boyfriend? Ugh, stop it. What are you, my mom? Not in this town, young man. No, serious. I'm just trying to be a good wingman. You deserve someone sweet. And you are a terrible drunk when you're feeling lonely. Hey! Wingman, huh? I had taken seat next to my high school friend Eugene when I suddenly sensed someone behind me. Move. Huh? Are you impaired? Are you of impaired hearing? I said you should move. Uh, why? I surveilled the auditorium. This is the seat I have chosen. Now move. Ooh. Uh, nah, I don't think I will. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. Was I too quiet? I said no. Better luck next time. Um, Riley? It's okay. Not moving. How amusing. What's your name? Rylan. Don't worry about remembering it. I'll carve it into the seat. No need, I'll remember. After sizing me up one more time, he turned on his heel and started harassing a different student at the other end of the room, who, unlike me, gave up his seat to him. Those type of guys are the worst. Oh boy. What's wrong? I think that was John Black. Or John Blanc. John who? Dude, he's like super rich. There's rumors that his family has their hands in some shady business. He's probably someone you shouldn't mess with. So what? I'm not bowing down to that cunt. I'm getting your frustration, but I'm not worried. After our first encounter, I would sometimes catch him staring at me during lectures. I would stare back until he gave me a smirk and looked away. I was somewhat convinced that he was either plotting some sort of revenge or simply just messing with me. Until I was approached again in the hallway on my way home. Rylan Baker. Huh? Oh. To what do I owe the displeasure? I have come to hear that you are gay, is that correct? What is it to you? If so, I have a proposal to make. Just spit it out, what do you want? I want you. Be mine. You're joking, right? Did my t tone and convey such intentions? So, are you saying you like me? Like? I just want you to be mine. Why? Just because you fascinate me. Never have I encountered someone who was brave enough to look me in the eyes, let alone defy me. I must simply have you, so be mine. Yes, enticing as it sounds to be property, I think I'd rather die a long and painful death. Full offense. You're turning me down. Yep. Next time you like someone, maybe just don't be an ass to them. Just a little tip. If I knew things would turn out like this, I would have just moved back then. Of course, these thoughts seem awfully pointless now. Hey. After a few hours of wallowing in my own self-pity while drifting in and out of consciousness, I hear a small voice call out to me. Huh? Up here! Eugene? Is that you? Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, well, you know, just getting kidnapped by someone who takes life advice from badly written romance tropes. Typical Tuesday, really. I think it's a bit early to joke about that. The situation's quite serious, Rylan. I know. It still doesn't feel real, I guess. 
Anyway, how'd you find me? Oh, uh, please don't get mad, but after you told me about John's confession, I had a really bad feeling about it. So I might have installed a tiny tracking device on you. You what? I'll apologize for another time. For now, I'll be glad it helped you, me find you. Never mind all that. When is the police arriving? Um, yeah, about that. John's family is deeply wired within the police department of the city. If I went to them to, about this, they would just make it up an excuse to arrest me. My uncle's a part of the department. He said that he can assure you safety once you're made it out. But until then, we're on our own. You, you can't be serious. What the hell am I supposed to do? Are, are you telling me my only choice to pretend to like that cunt? No, of course not. Listen, I don't think John expects anyone to look look for you already, so he probably has his guard down. Now is our best chance to get you out of here. Right, so what's the plan? Climbed over the wall to get into the premises, so that would be our only our way out once we manage to leave the house. Main entrance has a security system, so that won't do. However, I found a window in the back, so you should be able to get through. We'll open it from the outside, but see if we connected to some kind of food storage area. Maybe close to the kitchen. Our biggest hurdle will be getting you out of this room. I didn't hear a key when he left, so the door probably isn't locked. The bigger issue is that I'm taped on this to this stupid chair. Oh, that's great news. Tape, sh tape should be magical. Try this. Eugene uses a thin rope to lower a cutter knife into my hands. After wiggling the tape a bit looser, I'm able to cut myself free. Ah, freedom! Maybe a bit early for celebrations. Be sure to stay on guard. Yeah, I know. Stay here for now. Just come back and talk to me if you need anything. I'll see what I can do. You got this, alright? Alright. And Eugene? Hmm? Thank you. Thank me once you made it out. Right, I'll be off. See you soon. Brother, why can't you just lift him into the vent? Wouldn't that be more logical? Oh, we got we got the arrow keys. Okay, no wasps. Yeah, just alright, now this is a little freaky. Okay, that's the save button. Z to interact. Alright. Machine is empty. Alright. Machine is empty. The washing machine is running. Strangely enough, there is no timer indicating when the machine will be done. Is he bad at that? Oh, I'm gonna keep the mouse cursor out of the screen, so... Let me see. So, Z is interact. Oh god, this house is creepy as fuck, bro. So creepy. Alright, can't go that way. Oh, why am I going this way? Stupid keyboard. Alright. Is this a stage? That's fucking weird. Anyways. No, this looks like a table, actually. My bad. Oh wait, I gotta go in here. My bad. There's some gravy on the shelf. Who the fuck leaves gravy on there? In a jar? They left it in a jar? Why? You know what this reminds me of? The freezer in Dead Plate. Locked. Damn it! Can't go in there. Uh. So we can't go in there. 
Is there another way to go? Nope. Can't. Can't do anything else in this room. Oh, my keyboard has a mind of its own. Hold on. Go. Can't. I don't think we can go this way. So we gotta go this way. I am not being super sneaky, by the way. What? That's just some crevice in the wall. There's no importance whatsoever. You can't go in there. Let's see. I'm like trying to move my character with the keyboard, but it won't move. My keyboard sucks, I promise. Like, it's being hard. Lock. Damn it. Can't go in there either. Okay, what's this? Is it stairs? Oh, wait, hold on. I just want to go. No. Yeah, no, I'm not going near that giant dog. Maybe I could find a way to distract this somehow? Alright, yeah, we're not going there. So we're going upstairs. I don't like that bear. Locked. Damn it. Can't go in there. Oh, we can go in here. Is John gonna find us just like... Of course he plays the piano. There are some expensive looking coats in this closet, though there's still enough space for a pa person to fit in. There's a key on the closet door. Oh, neat. This box is locked with the pin code. Book from studies. I really don't want to think about uni right now. Alright, pin code. And we got a key. It's the walk-in closet. Are we able to go in? Oh. Probably not much important. Nothing really important in there. His house is huge. There's some cleaning solutions on the shelves. God damn, I, I saw it like three times. It for like a mansion, it's a really shitty looking house. Oh, it's a pool. I was so confused for a second. Like, why is this a long corridor? The pool. Is the dog here? Oh, this is- this goes around. Alright, well this has to- this key has to go for something. He has to, like, work for something. Unlock the door. Hell yeah. Alright. John is real- I know John's, like- He has his guard down. Map of the present. Oh, yeah. 
Um, it looks like part of it has been cut off at the bottom. Hmm. Wait. Can we have this in our items now? Damn it, we don't have that. Damn it, can we pick up the map? Like, I think we might need that. Oh, Rylan, how naughty of you. Oh, shit. I don't know how you escaped, but just be a good boy and come back with me, all right? I need to find somewhere to hide. Um... Oh. Damn it! <laughs> the scare! Okay, well, how, how, do, how do we... I don't like these kind of game. I don't like this part of games where we have to run. No! Oh, God. Oh. How do we sprint? Go! Go in the closet! Go in the closet! No! Go in the closet! God! Right? You're so stupid! Where do I hide? No! Oh! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh, thank God. Dude. Holy fuck, bro. Is he gone? Sheesh. I'll save that. I'm saving. Jesus, that was so stressful. Wait, why am I running? I get it, I'm scared. I knew as soon as that, as it said I could, I could hide in there, I knew as soon as it said that, I would have to hide somewhere. I hate that. That's so scary. My god. Can I go in the pool? I need a break. Can you go in the pool? So, is John in the library? So like, once, is he still around so Like, I don't want to run into him again. I'm gonna have to look deep. Do it. No, I seems like I can't interact with them. That's locked. That scene fucking freaked me out. Expect that. Like I genuinely was like, as soon as I saw the closet, I was like, I was like, we're gonna have to do a chase scene soon, huh? I didn't think it would be that soon. Wait. Where are we? Wait, we can go in here? Can we go in? Oh, wait. Oh, this is... Aw, oh, dude, I should've... Should've gone in here first. I didn't, I just assumed... Wait. Oh, 
no, dude. Are we gonna do another chase scene or are we fortunately not gonna? You hold me no power over me, chair. Stop talking to chairs. You should really try and escape. I know. There's nothing to... Like, this is just nerve-wracking all around. So, are we gonna have to- are we gonna run into him again? Like, God, I hope not. I don't want to go in that room! <laughs> no, I don't want to go in there. Like, he could be in there. No! There's more than one chase scene! Dude, I'm not gonna do this! I'm not gonna survive! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna save, just... Because I'm not gonna... If this ends up being a trap... Oh? What? A key? <gasps> that guy almost must have... That guy mu must have dropped it earlier. Ha! Idiot! Oh my god, we're saving it again. Like... <laughs> that freaked me out. Swear. So, we're gonna bump into John again. Probably. No. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna- I don't wanna do this again. Yeah, no, not gonna- Distract somehow? With what? What do we have? What can we get to distract it? We need a look. Like, properly look. Can we just take the map with us? Please, we need a map. Probably. Yeah, that's where the dog is. And I don't think we should go near that dog. God. I can hate it. I hate this so much! Like, what could we get from these rooms? Can we find, like, clues? Actual clues? Wait, we have a key, which means we could access a new door. Don't know what door we can access. But we can access a door. I hate this. I, I hate- wait. I hate knowing that we're gonna have to do another chase scene because I don't- I- that- that one chase scene was anxiety-inducing enough. I don't need another one. I'm gonna reach these! God oh, damn. What in the hell is the washing machine- I'm assuming it's running for a reason. What else? 
Okay. This we keep finding John every time we unlock a door. At least one door we unlocked. It's the claw machine inside our stuffed animals. Ooh, I love these. Okay, stop right there. This is so not the time. Besides, I don't have any change on me anyway. Is there money on there? Or on here? Somebody left a pendant with a locket on this table. <gasps> I can't pry it open. It's too rusted. It just makes me want to open it even more. Ah, for a second I almost sound like a creep. Ah, well, no harm in taking it with me. And if it's to be petty... God, I hope John doesn't find it. God damn it, I already said... Looking at these paintings do anything? Nothing in here. There are some cleaning solutions. I wonder if this could clean off the rust from this pendant I found. I can't believe I'm cleaning up this cunt's stuff right now. Just how desperate am I? The rust has come off. The inside of a pendant has a picture of a woman on the right holding something engraved on the other. Huh. His mom, perhaps? Didn't take him for a mo didn't take him for a mama's boy. The engraving must be her birth year. Hmm. Oh, well, that was. Oh. Well... Wait, what? Okay, wait. <laughs> we need a. Uh... Can I? Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I got it. Items. And then. Oh. 1968. Okay, boys, we got it. Nineteen sixty-eight. Yes! Uh -huh. This is where the thief put my phone. Aside from a phone, there's a lone picture in the box. What the hell? When did he even take this? Seriously, what a creep. It's just a placeholder. No! I plan on adding many more pictures of you once you submit yourself to me. Ah! Chase, I can't do this. <laughs> no, he's right there, so he can't hide in that closet. No, he's right there. Oh, bro, he, he's right there. What the hell, man? Right, no. Again, he's right there. How the hell are we gonna? Oh my god. Nope. We're out. Nope. 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 I keep doing this, dude. You can run? Oh my god. This is pissing me off so much. No. I don't want to give up. Nope. 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 No! Mm. Mm. Oh, big god! <laughs> oh my god! Thank god! Ah! Ah! We made it, 
boys! Phew! I really need to be more on guard. I don't think any heart can take this a third time. Neither can I! Neither can mine! Dude, that was too much. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with that again. I swear. God. Gene, help me! Maybe we can find a rope and I can pass it on you to Gene. Seems like the machine, is, the machine has finished its job. Search, search laundry? Yes. Unfortunately, there is no key, but someone forgot some change in their jeans. Yes! Claw machine! Let's go back to the claw machine, guys. Let's go. Wait, we got it this way. My bad. I forgot. I forgot. My brain is a little like... Oh, I want to go up. Wait, what the hell? That's weird. Anyways. I'm gonna go in here. It's a claw machine. Inside are some stuffed animals. I do have some change. I totally need a stuffed toy to escape. Yes. Not to fuel my gambling addiction. Nope. Dang, I'm really out of practice. I got the ugliest one. Oh well. What do I do with this? Stop toy. Stop toy. What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, I know. I know. We got a certain dog boy over here. We got a dog. So... Maybe we can give it to the dog. Hey, buddy! Look what I got here! Don't you want this ugly toy? Yeah, thought so. Damn it, no! Is it not interesting enough? Oh, the poor, poor toy. I swear, it's, it's, a, it's a good toy. Wait. Alright, this is the second time we've been jumped in this area. Alright, there's only two closets that I'm, uh, I'm aware of. Can I throw the toy in the pool? It's useless. So, what we, we, we need the toy for something. I know we do, but what for? What do we need it for? Maybe we can... Jesus Christ. Hmm, I wonder if the dog would be interested in it if the toy had some more smell to it. Wait, hold on. Let me save that just to make sure that's not the right answer. I think it might be, though. I don't know why it wouldn't. It's better work. Alright, dog boy. Here we come. This better work. Hey, buddy, look what I got here. Here you go. Good doggo. Oh, ran off with it. Well, at least that's taken care of. Yay! Is there another closet? Please tell me there's another closet. Oh, it's none. It's nothing here. Ooh, wait. Rope. Wait. Hand wrap? Is that rope? Screwdriver. Always useful to have. 
still can't get this rope. You figured we'd need rope, right? Like, that would be very useful to have. Please tell me this door. Oh, yes. It's not locked. So... Oh. Oh, this is the pool area. Wait, why are we in water? Why do we walk into the water? This house looks disgusting! John, how do you live here? My god! You crazy man, there's rust in his walls. There's rust all over it. the walls, man. Like, it's really bad. Yeah, there's a missing part of it. Cut off. So, t good news is that John only appears when there's an important thing happening. And it's not just randomly. So, that is good, I think. Alright, let's see. We need to do a screwdriver to this. How about this? Now to change this way, I should probably focus on my escape. Well, that's good news that the plushie was very useful. Wait, no, I don't need to be in here. So, where should we go? Not the piano. Uh. Alright. Okay, wait, whoa! Need to go in here. Screwdriver. Need a screwdriver. Damn it. Don't need a key for that room. Anyways, um. Uh... Alright, whatever. Not again! No, we can't. Oh wait, yeah, I need to find my way to get that bastard to go somewhere else. Oh my god! What am I gonna do? What actually can we do about that? Because I think we need to be in there, that room. Now that we have some things that... Why is John in there? Why are you in there? Yeah, I need there. I need to be in there. I still don't understand why we can't just grab the rope. Oh my god, we could grab the bottles and grab the rope, stab, do a whole a whole roadie, stab John with the with the bottle, and then tie him up with rope. Knock him out and tie him up with rope and get away. Like that would be the safest option, would it not? No, yo, he's probably has security enough about it. Shit. Well that can't be. How do I get John to not be in there? Because I need there. I need to be in there. I could, I could totally fuck up the toilets. Maybe that would do something. No, I can't do that. I can't do that either. Um... Oh, this is just nerve-wracking. And the fact that I can't fucking see for the life of me. I can barely see anything out of my vicinity. Like, I got bright or like, blindness. It's really dark in here, so it's probably... Ugh! Ooh, piano. Horsey. No, damn it. Not the piano. I thought that would be I thought that would be a good idea. 
Can we go in the walk-in closet? Like, can we go in there or no? I would to- I'd much rather do another fucking chase scene than try and figure out what the fuck we're supposed to do about John in there. Can we break this? Are we not able to break that? No shit. I don't know what to do. interact with this teddy bear? I guess not. So... Like, we can't- we can't do anything about John and- like, what are we supposed to do? We could start a fire. We could always do that too. We could do that. We should absolutely start a fire. And commit arson. What's he gonna do about it? We're gonna tell the police. Okay, don't go down there. Get a shit. Where are we supposed to go? He can commit arson. What's he gonna do about it? Tell the police somebody they kidnapped started arson? That's not gonna go well. Or well, maybe it maybe it might considering parents own. Oh uh... Is there a way that we can get his attention? Do that. Yeah, we really can't do anything. What are we supposed to do? Like, I, every time I feel like I'm stuck, I eventually find something. Like, this might actually... Is it maybe something in the library might? Like, I genuinely don't know. Okay. I might have an idea. I looked in the comments. I swear I'm not cheating. Um. And they just said, use an item. Should We could use the phone. Really? Barely. You got your phone back. Nice. What can I do for you? Talk. Are you sure this is the time? I just need to calm myself down a little. Right. It's important to take breathers now and then. I'm glad that you're looking after yourself. Just make sure you're not caught by John. No need to call that ass by his name. He doesn't deserve that much respect. I've avoided using swears for years, and I will not start now. What can I do for you? Hey, do you think you could distract that guy for me? He's camping in the basement and I sort of need to go there. Alright, I'll make some noise. That should distract him for a bit. Thank you, but please be careful. Of course, but just be safe. Maybe don't call me for a while. Right, hear you soon. Nice. The air should be clear now. I better not see that fucker. I swear, if, if he's still there. Yes! Oh, thank God. Machine is empty. Amp laundry. You. I mean, it's clean, but you. Better avoid this room for now. Where did John go, actually? That would be a good question. Mm. 
I'm sorry, I got scared for a second. Wait, what do I need to go in this room for? Maybe he dropped a key. Please say he dropped a key. Damn it, no key? Wait. No. I'm actually confused. What am I supposed to do? Um, there's a vent in the wall. Our recover has been screwed on top of the- <gasps> Yes! Yes! Yeah. Alright, we're gonna save this. I'm gonna be very quiet. Are we allowed to call? Oh, shit. The wall is plastered with pictures. They seem to be of the same day as the picture from John's room. The last one was his favorite, huh? There's a key on his desk. Swear to God, spare me the key I need. Yay! Wahoo! I could not care less. All right, I'm gonna do another save, and then I'm gonna try and see if I should call John. Or not John, not John. Eugene again. Better not call. Damn it! No, you can't. You can't call him. That would be a bad idea. I swear, if we run into John again, I'll be so freaking mad, dude. Nope, not that way. Wait, wait, is this the way? Oh no! Fuck! Fuck! Oh, there you are! Shit, not again! Making me look for you- Making me look everywhere for you! What a bad boy! Come here so I can punish you! You. Oh no! I can't do this again! Nope. Nope. Out! I'm out! No, fuck. Fuck! Fuck me! Nope, we're- we're fucked. We're- we're- we're screwed. Yeah, no. We can't- we can't hide in there. Or, well, maybe we can. We just gotta be a lot more efficient. We need to be better at this. Nope. Yeah, we, we can't hide. Yeah, no, we can't do that. So we gotta hide in the basement. Oh my god, this is gonna give me- mm! John! Swear to god, my boy! Swear. Oh no. No, we can't hide anywhere! God! <laughs> so we have to either run to the- run to the basement or run to his bedroom. Oh, this is hard. I can't run him that- I'll run that fast. He's too fast! Yeah, he's, he's too fucking fast, bro. God, I need him. I need him gone. So, like, it's gotta be the last stop. Oh. Okay, I just screenshot the map. God, I can't do it. No. Wait, look at how fucking fast he is. Yeah, like, see? Like, what? I gotta out. Yeah, no, why'd I do that? <laughs> so, that was a- that was not a good strategy. No, but- no! I was so close! I was so close. I just needed to outrun him. Dude, sir, I don't have to move. Sometimes I don't even have to move. And he's already there. Like, bitch, leave me alone! Like, no, he's... I can't. You know. Oh, God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit arson. I'm gonna commit your arson on your house, bitch! This is the hardest one yet. But it's hard for no reason. Nope. Yeah, that, 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 took, that took me way too long. That took me way too long. I could have gotten in there. Like, oh, my God! Dude. Oh, my God. I hate this guy. I hate him. I hate him. He gives me too much stress. Yeah, I can't. I'm taking too long. Like, this guy's too fast. Like, what is he even doing? That's causing us a game over. Is it just like he hides us up again? 
Okay, you really need to get this. It's under control. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not even trying. <laughs> let, me, let me try that again. Why am I not running? <laughs> yeah, no, like, it's dumb. It's pointless. It's pointless. Or I can hide in the vent. Wait, would I hide in the vent? Let me try that this time. Bitch. You know what? Oh my god. That's so dumb. That, 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 that was so dumb. Like, I have to, like, be way ahead, bro. Fuck. Ah. Dude, this is gonna be a pain in the ass for me later when, like, editing this video. No. And no, I can't hide in the vent either. So I can't hide in the vent. I can't hide in the closet. So I need to hide it. So, somebody just gave me an idea. Somebody just gave me an idea. I was talking to my friend, and we had a VC for like 20 minutes to figure out what the fuck to do. We have a plan. So. Alright, so we're gonna try this to see if it works. Oh my god. Well, okay. Please. I, I promise you. Oh my god. Okay, let's try this. Oh god. This is so stressful, dude. Rylan, how do you live with this? Oh my god, wait. Lock the door with the playroom key. Fuck yeah! Unlock the door at once. No. <laughs> the heart too. <clears throat> Even if you escape, I will find you. Right. We'll see about that. Man, I really should have thought of this last time. This made would have made things much easier. Oh my god. Dude, that's fucking crazy. So happy that I managed to do that. Oh my god. Now that we can... Come on, be the right key. Yes, finally! What is this room for? It's gonna be the most. Oh, oh I freaking missed the window. Island? In the flash. You made it, you son of a gun. Yeah, couldn't have done it without you. Let's save the celebrations for after we get home. Don's backups are probably already on their way. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. What? <laughs> after we fled John's premise. Eyes. Eugene's uncle picked us up and brought us to a safe location. We fled our state for some time and lived with some of Uncle or Eugene's relatives. We were ready to start our li a new life over there when we learned that John had been arrested. Apparently, his parents dropped his ass until after they found out about the incident, which led to his arrest. Although I can't help but wonder if they had dropped him because he, what he did was bad or because he was the one he was after was, is a guy. It's hard to celebrate a victory like that. But at least we were able to return to our old lives without any further troubles, and Eugene and I live together now. I used to live alone, but now it makes me anxious. I have a dream about that place from time to time. As much as I tried to treat the situation like a joke, the scars I left behind were deeper than I thought. People who live selfishly without any regard of those around them, they make me sick. No one is entitled to someone, el someone else's life. John will never know the trauma he inflicted on me. For that, I can only resent him until the end of my life. Misfiction. <laughs> Goddamn, John. I fucking hate you, bro. All that stress. You stressed me out. That stress. Okay. Are we able to speed this up at all? Oh, yeah, we. Oh, shit. Yeah, we can speed this up just fine. Yeah, yeah, you get all the... Game was made by... Under 60 hours! God damn! 2021. So, three years old now.
the end. All right, um, let's double check. Now we can use the phone. Island? Barely. You got your phone back. Nice. What can I do for you? Are you sure this is the time? I just need to calm myself down a little. Right. It's important to take breathers now and then. I'm glad that you're looking after yourself. Just make sure you don't get caught by John. I need to call that guy by his name. He doesn't deserve that much respect. I've avoided using swears for years, and I will not start now. Wait, can we call him again? How are you doing? I'm a little cold, but for the most part I'm okay. Definitely better off than you. Yeah, thanks for rubbing it in. Only because I feel like you're not taking this situation seriously enough. I am. Just hearing your voice calms me down. Reminds me that I'm not going through this alone. Of course you aren't. I'm here for you until we get you out of here. So just hang in there. Yeah. Thank you. Tomorrow we should go eat sushi. We earned it. Seriously? You... Alright. If you're paying. No way, man. We're splitting the bill. Unlike my kidnapper, I'm not made of money. Can we eat something, something cheaper in that case? What? Sorry, connection got bad. Can't hear you. What if I don't make it out? Your chances will be much higher if you actually, if you were actually trying instead of talking to me. I'm kidding. Of course you'll make it out. John may be strong, but he's also overconfident. He doesn't believe in your abilities. So, do you believe my abilities? I think you have a good shot. That doesn't sound very convincing. I'm being serious. If you pull yourself together, you can do it. So don't start doubting yourself, okay? Alright. Man, this whole thing kind of reminds me of high school. I don't remember any rich stalkers being after you in high school. That part? Talk about you bailing me out of confinement. You mean well-deserved detention? It was not well-deserved. Mr. Hudson had it out for me, I'm telling you. Maybe you shouldn't have kept drawing silly caricatures on his on him on the blackboard. Worth it. What do you think Mr. Hudson had been up to since we he was transferred? Are you bored or something? Anyway, I heard he got divorced. Oh, dang. Hope Hudson Jr. is okay, doing okay. Yeah. I think you'd make a great dad someday. Oh, thank you. You too. If you find a guy that can take care of you two. Hey, I'll be the main caretaker, you see. Please, I would love to see that. Hey, Eugene. Yeah? Thank you for taking care of me. Not just now, but also back in high school. You always look after me even though I know I'm a pain to deal with sometimes. Oh! You are for sure. But I wouldn't want it any other way. I like spending time with you, just the way you are. Me too. Even though you can be a real killjoy sometimes, I wouldn't want you any other way. Let's see if we're gonna get another... Eugene? Hmm? I am... Well... What's wrong? Just say it. I... No. Now's not the time. I'll tell you once we're out of here. Jeez, now I'm curious. But you're right. Save it. Right. I think I'm gonna focus on getting out now. Talk to you later. Wait. Can we call him again? 
Didn't you want to focus on getting out now? Right, I'll do that. All right. So let's check the dishwasher. You know it. Hey, Rylan? Yeah? After our escape, there was so much going on that I completely forgot about it, but... That day... What'd you want to tell me? Huh? You said that you'd tell me once we got out. It sounded pretty serious. Don't tell me you didn't remember. Oh, no, I... I do remember. It's just... Something I've been meaning to say, but... Never had the courage. That night, in the house... I wasn't sure if I'd ever see you again, so I just... What are you so afraid of? I don't know. Losing you as a friend? Why? What? Why would you lose me as a friend? Are you confessing a horrible crime? It's okay, I'll visit you in prison. I did not commit a crime. What the hell? Then why are you being so dramatic? Because I love you, you idiot! There. I said it. Wait. In a friend way? Or in a... In a I want to be your boyfriend way? Really? I can't believe it. I mean, I'm the exact opposite of your type. What? Says who? You. High school. Okay, I remember. But I didn't mean that. If I had told you my actual type, well... I would have just been describing you. Well, it's a little silly you would lie about it. I described you and you asked me for my type, but apparently that didn't give me away at all. What, you did? Does that mean I had a pretty big crush on you in high school? In a high school, so not anymore? Why don't you find out? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Anyways. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the full Miss Fiction playthrough. If you did, be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up as well. And be sure to check out my other videos. And that'll be all for now. <laughs> Sorry, I had to play the game like 10 times so I could figure out how the hell you even get that last bit of the ending. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.